Hello and welcome to another edition of Skip, Rent, or Buy, and today I'm going to be looking at Doberman. Now you may or may not have heard of this movie. It's a French film from 1997, and it stars Vincent Cassel, who you may have seen in the Crimson Rivers. He was the other French guy, the one that wasn't Jean Reno, and Monica Bellucci, who many will know from, from the two Matrix sequels. Now, I don't know if it is actually based upon a comic book, but it's got that, that feel to it, that comic book style. And it really fucking works here. It, I mean, in so many movies, it comes off as lame or looks goofy and, you know, and then there are the ones where it gets downright campy. This one, it just really, really works. The editing is wild, and and the cinematography is just very unusual. French film, of what I've seen anyway, tends to be very different in look and feel from, you know, typical American filmmaking. I mean, I like both, but they're, they're very different. So this has, like, a lot of close-ups and a lot of going in on people's faces and stuff like that. And the French also have this kind of warped sense of humor that you may have seen in, um, there's some of it in Emily, uh, Delicatessen, if you've seen that. The most well-known example is probably in Alien Resurrection. Shitty movie, but, you know, the humor is very different from what you might see in the, in a typical American production, you know. And that is also very, very evident here. It borders on outright absurdity at times, and it can be rather black. And like everything else in the movie, it's very much for, you know, I'd say typical guys is probably, that's probably the group this was made for. It doesn't particularly hold back. If it wants to be disgusting, it'll be disgusting. The characters are a lot of fun. Just Monica Bellucci is playing this character who's deaf, so she goes through the entire movie using sign language. And there's this one guy who's just always chewing on gum. Almost every time you see him in the entire movie, he's chewing obnoxiously loudly. Like, you can just, you can always hear him chewing if he's on screen, you know, exaggerated. Um, also a very French thing, I think. That's been my experience, at least. Now, I actually wasn't able to get a copy that had subtitles in a language I speak, so I tried to watch it with uh, my father, who does speak some French, but there was apparently a lot of slang in it, and um, it goes really, really fast. So even with the French subtitles, it, we, we didn't pick up everything, but on the whole, I think I followed it. I, I would say the filmic language is so strong, you can follow it, even if you don't understand what they're actually saying. You'll know who is what in relation to whom and such. But basically, it's about this gang of um, criminals, uh, including Doberman, uh, Bellucci, uh, the chewing guy, and a priest. Yes. And they're um, robbing banks. And um, there's this police unit out to get them, and the leader is this sadistic prick who's, like, I mean, there's, apparently, police brutality is pretty common in this world. So one of the first times we were introduced to the police, one of the guys has his fists all bloody from um, having, uh, and, and they make reference to, like, torturing a 15-year-old or something, and, and you're following, you know, these two groups, and the police are trying to catch um, the criminals, and that's just, that's about it. It's, it's not, it's not exactly a complex plot, but you'll be able to follow it, and it is a very engaging, um, very entertaining film. It moves very, very fast, without being, like, ADD, MTV generation style fast. It's not like, oh god, we gotta keep moving or else we'll lose the audience's attention. It just... You know, it keeps coming at you, but not overwhelmingly so. And it really doesn't feel like it was made just to appeal to 
this certain group. I personally think these people just sat down, wrote this up, and just had a ton of fun making it, and it really shows. It is a fun, fun film. It it really doesn't feel like it was, you know, tailor-made to in order to maximize profits, you know. The action is just awesome. There are chases and shootouts, and it's intense and often over the top. This movie also has some of the biggest guns ever seen in a film. And without looking outright ridiculous, you know, it's not like... I mean, you believe that they're real guns, but they are fucking huge. But yeah, it's fast, fun, it doesn't know the meaning of the word politically correct, it's crass, it's violent, there's gratuitous eye candy, and the entire thing is just soaked in adrenaline and testosterone. And if all of that at all sounds appealing to you, then I suggest you check it out. I would recommend, unless you just cannot stand reading subtitles, which is fine, I mean, I totally understand not wanting to be distracted away from the visuals. I'm personally used to subtitles. But unless you just can't stand reading subtitles, do not get a dubbed version. You know, get one that has subtitles that you can understand read, do not get a dubbed version unless you are certain that they will capture all of the nuances, all the slang, and not just translate it so you get the basic gist of it, you know. Now, I don't know how widely this particular, this is not my copy, I, it's from a library, I don't know how widespread this thing is, but there's this extra disc called La Niche du Doberman, the Niche of Doberman, I don't know exactly. It's got, it says four hours, I haven't checked for sure, but it's a lot of extras. You know, it's got deleted scenes, behind the scenes stuff, comparisons from designs to the final version. It's got dubs to other languages, and it's even got some other work, I think it might be of the director, I'm not sure all of it is by, by that same director, John Coonan, don't know how to pronounce it including what I think is an interpretation of the story of Red Riding Hood. All of it is very worth watching. There's even a commentary track, for those of you who speak French, that is. But yeah, I would definitely check it out if you really want to see some cool action and you're sick and tired of the usual Hollywood stuff. That's it for this one. I will see you next time.